644, welcome back to Great Day, and welcome back to Great Day, good friend of ours, it's Ron the Car hey. Guy. Yes. Hey. Give him a only, round of applause. Can you see Ron the Car Guy on Tuesday mornings at this time each and every week? If you go out to Zoo Brew, you will see Ron turn into Vanna White which is an amazing <laughs> transformation. And Caitlyn disturbing. Jenner, it's no big deal. Ron's been doing it for years. Yeah, Bruce Jenner's got nothing on me. <laughs> I get a little mixed up on the heels, but otherwise I'm good to go. But it's, it's fun, you coming out tomorrow? I, I will not be there tomorrow, oh. I'm traveling tomorrow, but there will be somebody there okay. in my absence. Okay. We'll make sure you have a Vanna stand-in. Because Ron has some goodies that he gives away. He has we those do. cool chairs That's right. that you bring Zubru's over. Zubru's a blast this yeah. year. The weather's been been good for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason's done a good there's, job there's of predicting and producing. a better chance it won't rain tomorrow than it will. So That's good news. That's, that's, that's always good. good. There's that's always a chance it'll rain. Yeah. But in most cases, Ron is there, right? That's right. Okay. That's right. All right, so we're talking about something today that we've been hearing about for months. Yep, this started last fall. And uh, it's, it's been going on long enough. I think people are just kind of starting to ignore it or, or become numb to it. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the Takata airbag recalls that are going on. And, and first off, Takata is a, uh, this has been in the buzz since, since last fall. Uh, Takata is a, a manufacturer uh, in Japan that makes airbags. And the thing people need to understand is most auto manufacturers manufacture little if any parts on their vehicle. They're an assembler. And so they buy parts, they, they have other companies make the parts and then they actually put the car together on an assembly line. And so th they don't make airbags, they, they have companies that make them and Takata is one of the largest airbag manufacturers in the world. So this affects a, a lot of cars out on the road. And what's happening is, is they've identified that some of the Takata airbags, uh, when, when, when they, for lack of better words, when they explode uh, or, or deploy, uh, it's more violent of an explosion um, or deployment than what it was intended to be. And, and when that happens, uh, there, there's a metal canister and, and, and some other metal pieces in there that can shatter because the, the, the deployment, the, the, the ignition inside is so great, it causes those, those metal components to, to fail and, and they basically blow apart so you have metal shards or metal shrapnel coming out along with the airbag. Now the parts that come, mm. that, they're, that come apart, were they designed to come apart? No, no, they, no, were, they were supposed to stay intact, but, but again, the, the deployment is so violent, it's, it's tearing up these metal pieces. And Additional bringing, pieces. Exactly, exactly. And, 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 and part of the reason, or, or, or one of the main reasons that, that the deployment is so violent is, is they've determined that in um, warmer and more humid uh, conditions, as well as areas with huge temperature swings, uh, affects the, the propellant in the canister, the, the, the fuel that actually ignites the airbag. Do we know what type of fuel it is or not? Um, it, you know, I, it, it's a, I'm gonna get this wrong, but, but it's a, aluminum nitrate, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a chemist, uh, and I might have said that wrong, um, but, but moisture can, can, uh, can wick into it in some cases, okay. causing it to be more violent, uh, and temperature swings affect it. So when you stop and think about it, they're saying that this is more prevalent, not isolated, but more prevalent in areas that have huge temperature swings or are subject to higher humidity and warmer temperatures. That'd be here. Or pretty much anywhere in the United <laughs> States. I mean, I, I tried to think of a state that it wouldn't apply to, and, and there's probably very few. San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> well, there you go, yeah. San Diego, you're, you're good. You're safe. And, and so, uh, you know, uh, 34 million airbags are under this recall, and, and actually it's 35 because yesterday Honda released an additional one million cars. Wow. And, and so there, there's 35 million vehicles that need airbags replaced. And, and a million car recall is a huge recall. Oh, it's huge. But, but this is, yeah, yeah, and this is spread out over a number of manufacturers. But, and also keep in mind when we're looking at 35 million, um, some cars need <clears throat> just one or the other replaced. They've isolated whether it's the driver's side or passenger side. Others, they're recommending that you replace both. So that, that could be hmm. 70 million airbags. Um, but, but in what that equates to in the United States, one out of seven cars on the road today has a Takata airbag in it that's suspect. All right, now how do you check? Um, 
You ram it into a pole. <laughs> no. Well, and, and, and that, that's the other thing to, to keep in mind. I, I mean, a, as of today, there, there's been um, th th there's conflicting reports. There's been six, possibly seven deaths okay. related to this, and over a hundred injuries. Uh, but but the the best way to check it is first off identify um, <clears throat> if you drive a, a vehicle, you know, manufacturer that that uses Takata airbags and is included in this recall. And I've got a list of those here. It's Acura, uh, BMW, Chrysler Dodge, Ford, General Motors, Honda, Infiniti, Lexus, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, and Toyota. It would be a shorter list of saying who didn't well, have I was gonna them. Well, I say it almost yeah. covers everybody. Yeah, well, you're good if you're in a Land Rover. Um, but, but anyway, uh, it, it does because most, man, like I said, they're one of the larger manufacturers, so everybody bought airbags from. But but the best way to tell is to um, there's a website you can go to, and it's www.nhtsa.gov, and that's the National Highway Traffic Safety Association. So nhtsa.gov. Uh, you can click on a link for vehicle safety, then you can click on recalls, and you just simply put the VIN number of your vehicle in. And, and as a matter of fact, if you pull it up, it's the first thing that comes up because on it's, the screen. Exactly, yeah, because it's a huge deal. Yeah, there it is, there's, there's what it yeah. looks like. So you, you, can put your, you can put your V VIN number of your vehicle uh, in there. It'll not only tell you the airbags, it'll tell you if there's any other safety recalls on your vehicle. Um, and if it comes up that you're under the Takata recall, then, then obviously it needs to be adjusted. Now, here's a little more uh, caveat to that is uh, Takata has ramped up production to-, Some, to Someone's gotta make all these. Well, yeah, yeah, they gotta make but better have, airbags. Have they fix their problem? Well, they they claim to. They've got they've got some some new testing for the canisters and stuff that go in there, and, and they've made some changes. So we have to be as consumers, we have to be confident that the new replacement ones are going to be better. Um, but they're ramping up production, and they said by September they will be able to produce one million airbags a month to replace these. Okay. Now we've got 34 <laughs> million cars that need airbags Maybe and, some, more. and some need two. That's job security is what that is. So this isn't going to happen in right away. three months, six months, nine months. I mean, this is going to take years uh, provided this company that's making a million airbags a month doesn't go bankrupt between now and then because they're not getting paid for them. Right. Um, wow. So this isn't going to happen in a short period of time and, and this recall in some cases, it goes all the way back to 2001. We're talking about 14-year-old vehicles. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, so the concern becomes, you know, you know, what do I do in the interim? And and the first thing, you know, I would do. I've done it with my vehicles. Is is go to the list and see if your car needs one. Um, and and if you're you're really concerned about it, uh, and you you probably should be. Um, you know, just check with the, the dealer often and see if they have a, an airbag available to put into your vehicle because they're, they're getting limited, you know, supply. They can only produce so many. Now, and they're going to the humid, the hot, you know, they're going to really areas hot. with really high humidity first. And what would you say to someone who said, I'm just going to turn it off? You, you know, uh, as of right now, there's only one manufacturer uh, that, that condones that, um, and, and this was uh, from a Consumer Reports article. I didn't verify it with Toyota, but Consumer Reports said that uh, Toyota was the only manufacturer um, that would even, you know, suggest that. Uh, but now you put yourself at safety risk, mm -hmm. and, and, and you got to you got to look at the big picture. I, I don't think it's a good idea to turn it off or to disable it because, you know, in the grand scheme of things, uh, airbags have saved more lives than Takata has taken. I mean, we don't want to take any lives, but not all, the, the problem is they can't see inside these airbags. They don't know what's going on. So we're recalling 35 million airbags, but out of that 35 million, we don't know how many would do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of it's being done as a precaution. So when you look at the grand scheme of things, I mean, look at the four of us, you know, here on this set. H have any of us ever had an airbag deploy? No. no. 
No. So, you know, if, if, you're, if you're driving safely, you know, not under the influence, you know, on, on good tires, I mean, if, if you use common sense in driving a vehicle, first off, the odds of being in an accident where an airbag deploys are, are pretty low. Right. And then, and then second off, you know, if you do have a Takata airbag and it deploys, I mean, I wouldn't want to be the guinea pig, but th there, there's a higher chance that it won't have shrapnel than it does. But I would say much higher. Way, way higher. But, but again, I don't want to be the guy that takes that chance. Right. I mean, I'm we need to take it seriously. To be honest with you, I'm surprised that Takata hasn't come, on, hasn't come out with some kind of boot that you could put over where the airbag is. Or a screen or That's something? That's what I mean, yeah, to, to cover it where in case it did deploy, it would, it would catch any of these fragments as a cheap, you know, temporary, hey, this is going to protect you in case this happens. I can see that happening here real soon, too, because it, it, it'd be able to be uh, turned over real quick. It could crank them out real quick, and then while they're doing the other ones, getting the other ones replaced, there's another precaution they could take. And, and I'm sure somebody in engineering is working on that, you know, because it wouldn't be much cheaper if they could, you know, find a, a protective way to fix the ones they have. I don't know if that's possible, but, right. you know. And then the other industry that's affected that, you know, we haven't even thought about is, um, you know, look at like a salvage yard. Sure. You know, your car's in an accident and they get used airbags. I mean, now you don't have the VIN number of the car that they came out of. Mm -hmm. And and they're they're not you know making that readily available. I, I mean I mean there's just a whole it, it trickles down to a lot of different industries. And in that industry, they make money on those bags, and now people are going to be kind of hesitant to grab them now. Absolutely, yeah. yeah it, it's at best it's a it's a mess, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a long term mess. And, and and I don't think Honda's release of an additional million cars yesterday is probably the end of it. All right. Well, you have the answers. That's why you're here now. People have any other questions about anything else car related? What's the best way to get? Uh, well, here? they can get a hold of us at this wonderful phone number on the screen here, two two five nine zero nine zero, or they can go to askronthecarguy.com and submit a question, I, I answer all questions. There you go. All right, Ron the Car Guy, we'll see you next week. Awesome. All right, buddy, good to see you. Thank you. As always, it's three minutes before 7 o'clock. You're watching Great Day Live in Des Moines.